All right, so today on the channel, we are going to take a look at Destro from Mezco. So um, I usually don't do unboxings on this channel because, gosh, they're, you know, everybody knows how to unbox a figure. But uh, for this one, it's a little bit more of a premium format figure. So let's go ahead and do an unboxing for this one. Um, and we'll get, go ahead and just start with the box, right? So here's what the box looks like. I got this one while I was out in Canada. Um, it came in, um, and, you know, in this regular Mezco box, um, we got Destro up here from the card that we got when we were in the eighties, classic, uh, Mezco 112 collectibles. I ordered this directly from Mezco three years ago. I don't know. Uh, Destro, the Cobra logo, you got the, you know, um, you know, Destro the enemy logo like we used to get again another picture of you know the little retro card um, Mezco toys um, and then another logo down here from Cobra Destro this is what it looks like at the top and the bottom so that's what you get there all right so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and so we don't crease let's see if we can pop it off that way there we go I don't like Sometimes on these premium format figures, I don't like to damage the box too much. So that's the way I open them. You know, this is a premium figure. Um, you're not going to, this is one that you're just not going to get, you know, it's not a rinky dinky figure. Anything that's over $50 to me is a premium format figure. We've already taken a look at the box. I'm not throwing this one. This one stays carefully set place right here. Might want to put it up later. Uh, we've got some stuff about don't don't uh, don't be crazy handling your mezco you know don't be a don't be a barbarian about it and then you've got some instructions here on how to set up his weapons and stuff well we're gonna set that to the side right here because i might need to refer to that later so this is what he looks like straight out of the box um uh and it's hard to see in the in the, in the picture there so Let's go ahead and, and crack it open there. Let's remove this top part so you get a better look at them. You know, sometimes you get mezzets in these. I didn't get any mezzet in the box anymore, like the little gold mezzets, um, you know, those little roachy looking things. So, I mean, that's fine. I don't mind not getting them. I didn't order that, but anyways. Uh, so here he is again. He's, he's covered in the little plastic stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lost a few of the hands there. Gonna have to pick those up. One second. Make sure I got everything. Tried to pick that up and it just all came at me. I hope I don't run over it. All right, now that I've got all the pieces back, geez, his hands just went everywhere. Uh, let's go ahead and just take him out of the box first before I start dropping everything everywhere. All right, so here's what he looks like. Um, first impressions that, well, popped right off pretty, um, pretty easy to pop off, which is not a bad thing because we have those other two, uh, faces over there. So yeah, just looking, looking at him, getting a, getting a feel for him. So he can't look too far up or he's just going to pop the head right off. This hinders it quite a bit. Uh, let's look at his hands. He's got two fists right now. Got his little rockets. Look at that. That's very, very true to the um, original Destro that we had. He's got his holster there. All right. And he feels he feels pretty premium. He's got some good um, uh, he's got some good detail in the chest. Some good detail there. And of course, you've got the cloth over. Um, can open his, can do a T pose. Does he have a bicep cut? He does have a bicep cut. Are they double jointed? They feel double jointed. Yeah, it feels like it's a double jointed elbow, which is good. No torso. Wait. Yeah, now he doesn't have a torso cut, but he does have waist, waist, uh, a waist swivel there, so he can go back that much. Let's, let's do that. Go back that far. Go forward that far. So he does have some 
ability to move back and forth there. So that's not bad. I mean, but most of the time we pay for the Mezcos uh, for the number one, the premium figure, the feeling of it, and all of these accessories, right? You get a ton of accessories and not just a few, right? You get a, you know, a bunch of, of the ones. I've just lost some else. There it is. All right. So you got to be careful with that. We just lost his rockets. So they're not magnetized or anything. I guess that kind of pops off. So got to be careful with that. Uh, twist here. Does he have a twist here? No. And these are very easy to pop off. I'm not sure I really like that though. Wait, did it break? Is that broken? Let's get close in on it. Doesn't look like it's broken. It just looks like it's easy to pop off. Yeah, because otherwise, doesn't doesn't feel broken or anything. It's just real easy to pop off. So it just fits right back in there. It's just hard to. I don't know. It's it's going to be one of those things where we got to be careful. I guess. No twist there. Twist there. He can kick up about, ooh, I don't want to be rough with him, about that high. Can kick back about that high. He's got a lot of good articulation. Move it up. Boot cut. No. No thigh drop. Double pinned. Double jointed. Does he have some articulation at the legs? A little bit, tiny bit of articulation there. So, does move a little bit there. All right. So uh, at this point, let me uh, let me take let me set him up, and then we'll take a look at some more of his details in a minute. All right. So give me a minute here to set him up, and then we'll keep going over some more uh, some more articulation. All right. So we're back, and I've placed a Cobra Viper uh, next to um, uh, Mezco Destro, so you can see him in comparison. He doesn't tower over him, but he is uh, significantly bulkier and bigger than that Viper. Now, let me start by saying this. Um, this is a premium figure, and I am expecting premium quality. And to tell you that when I expect that, and I pay over $100 for a figure, and I wait three years, I better be getting some premium quality. And I am not disappointed by this Destro. Um, I mean, just right now, he kind of blew me away with all of the great little knickknacks and attention to detail that are included uh, with this particular figure. So let's just get started with, you remember in the beginning, his little rockets came off and that was concerning to me. I was like, well, I don't know if these rockets come off or not. What's going on? Is it broken? Is it a little handle that's, you know, the little thing on there that's broken? Well, this is why they come off. And then I remember, duh, it was in the picture. He has another set that plugs into that hole where he's firing off his little mini rockets. Uh, these are whistlers before Mando thought about whistlers. So you just plug those in there and off go his whistlers or mini rockets to go take out some people. This is an exquisite, beautiful looking, uh, you know, piece of accessory here. It's just, it's just beautiful. Uh, so um, I don't know if I'll ever have him doing this, but it is a wonderful option. I love it. Uh, the other thing is you get these heads. So that one's more of a stoic head. This one's more of a stern head. He's got like, you can see his pupils there even. Uh, and he's kind of got a scowl on his face. And maybe even resembles uh, the, the cartoon Destro a little more than that Destro. So here he is. So you can see the difference. This one's got more of a softer, softer features and harder uh, features. You see that? Oh, and he does have his eyebrows. So yeah, maybe one is a little different than the other as well. So... Um, Anyways, let's put, put you right back there, Destro. So you get this one. And then my favorite, my favorite uh, head option or head sculpt is this one. And you could see why. Look at the detail on him. He's smiling. He's sneering. But his teeth, you could literally see his t individual teeth in this head sculpt. This teeny tiny head. It's just amazing. 
Uh, the level of detail uh, on this is just, you know, uh, just spectacular. Great work on this head sculpt. That's exactly what I'd expect from a premium format figure. And he also, he also gets an additional holster. You can pop that one off and put this one on, and I'll show you why. He has this weapon here, which goes to the original one. And yes, as all of our mess goes, you can pop this clip out. He gets an extra clip uh, that, that you have in, in the extra stuff. But, you know, I've already put, whoops. Well, here, since it's already popping out. That's the one thing I didn't like about it, that they were so easily popped out. No, it doesn't want to come out. Now, when, it, when I need it, it doesn't want to come out. All right, fine. But it does have a little painted... Um, uh, bullet in there or it looks like a, there's a round in there it looks like they're fully loaded let me see there it is okay coaxed it out you see that as we get on most mezco uh you can see it's got a little clip a uh, little magazine there and it's, it looks ooh, look at that did you guys see that the detail you could see the clip going into the weapon that is awesome great work Oh man, that's great work, Mesco. Great work. So, anyways, you have that gun. That I mean, this weapon that goes in there. This, this sidearm. And then you also have this weapon here, which is more of a rifle. And yes, this clip also comes out here, and you get an extra one that they give you in case you lose this one, or in case he's, you know, maybe packing one extra. You can put it somewhere on his body or something. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So you also get this uh, uh, rifle uh, right along with it. Um, I don't know if this one comes apart or not. I haven't played with this very much. But anyways, this here's his rifle. You get that. Now, here's where it really shows. You know, here's the other holster as well. And this is, and I'll show you why you get this extra holster. Um, here's where it really starts paying off. Here's where the premium starts coming in. All of these individual tiny sculpted pieces can go together to form another rifle out of all these individual parts and you get the little clips in there that go into that just amazing spectacular work spectacular work uh by uh, by uh, mezco on this wow it's just it's just shocking the level of detail that they've put into this um i'm, I'm blown away great work on this mezco um I, I actually took it you know started pulling it apart i was like well i'm gonna lose some of those pieces i'll put them back together now the interesting part about this is this can actually be switched out by the inside of this case. And this case has, let's see if I put it right in there correctly. It has the detonator or the bombs in it, right? So you can pop this out and put that in here. And I think on the original cartoon Destro, he, that, that weapon could, was just floating in around in there. The weapon that he had, there was another weapon in here or whatever. But here... Um, I don't do this often, but here, let me dim the lights a little. Look at this. Yes. Another, you can look at that. Electronics in your figure. So, and it has an on and off button in the back. You can turn that off if you don't want it to, to be on all the time, but turns it on, turns it off, and it just looks spectacular. Just great work, uh, Mezco, on that. Oh my gosh. You know... We rarely, you know, we rarely get quality figures. If this is the type of work that met, I don't want to wait three years for a product, but if this is the type of work that we're going to start seeing from Mezco, then, you know, I'm, I'm happy with the classified figures. Don't get me wrong. Classified's doing a great job and Hasbro doing a good job with that. But these pro mat, these premium format figures are going to blow the heck out of the water. Super 7 and Classified. These are just fantastic. And they should be for what we pay for them. They should be. Now, again, the, the you guys saw the articulation with him earlier. This this is a free-floating belt. And this is kind of rubbery, plasticky uh, overlay on top of the fabric. It feels like a good, solid, sturdy figure. Um, just feels like a great figure. I am going to have a lot a lot of fun displaying this and and you know tinkering with them and this is just a tremendous destro i mean it, you, i i the only thing i would ask for if i could is the ability to look further up uh that would have been fantastic but i mean that's nitpicky that is so nitpicky um 
it's exactly what I wanted. I think this is this this action figure uh, meets my expectations exactly. If not, blows them away. That was that great work. Um, let's see what he, that's what he looks like standing next to Daredevil. And this is what he looks like standing next to. Let's grab another another guy that I have around here. Maybe a, a, a scarab from Action Force. That's what he looks like standing next to a scarab. Still bigger and beefier than the scarab. And let's see who else. Uh, maybe let's see. Here, you know, let's let's just do this goofus from Fortnite. There we go. That's what he looks like standing next to a Fortnite figure. Uh, Metal mouth. I happen to like. I really happen to like that guy. And I got him for six bucks at Ollie's. Anyways. So ultimately, there you go, guys. Um, another great hit by Mezco. I haven't reviewed the Batman one because, I mean, what's the point? Everybody and their grandmother's done a Batman review because everybody's looking forward to it. But I haven't seen many Destro reviews. So um, that's my review for, for Destro. I don't want to tinker with his articulation too much. Again, I look at this particular... Not only does he have a great articulation, but he's... To me, he's a little work of art now, a posable statue, and especially so because you can't even see the, 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 um, you know, the, the, the pins in them. You can't break up the sculpt because of the, the way that the cloth hides the sculpting lines and stuff. So, uh, oh, you know what we didn't go over? His hands. Here's what he has for his hands. And there is a difference between the right and the left side. This is one that you get for the, this is one hand that you get for the left side that you don't get for the other one. And that's, you get a pointing hand for the, let me see, for the left side, which is good. And then let's go over the corresponding hands that he does get, right? So you get two of these, two grippy hands, just grip. Then you get two splayed hands for the left and right. And you guys can look these up online if you want a closer look. But this is what they... And then they've got two textures, right? They've got some color, and then they've got some gloss, and then they've got some matte on them. So they've, they've done some really detailed work here. Great work. And then they've got kind of a trigger hand for one version of a weapon. And interestingly enough... Another like angry hand. I guess on, on the right hand, you get this angry hand and on the other side, you get the pointy hand, right? So this was kind of like an angry, like he's holding up the world or, you know, just yelling at you kind of hand. And then you get a, another, you know, I guess this is for the other weapon. You know, it's maybe splayed a little differently or something. So anyways, that's, uh, and then the other two clips, right? You have, you know, they have the bigger clip here and the smaller clip, uh, over there. So, um, that's what you get, uh, with, with, uh, Mesco's, with, uh, Mesco's Destro. Again, they hit it out of the ballpark with this well worth a hundred dollars. If you haven't picked, I might even pick another one up because he's so awesome and all the little weapons and details that he comes with just a tremendous figure. This figure is going to go up in value. I can, I already know it. It's, and again, I don't invest in these things. I do it because of, I, I love these figures. I really enjoy them and they bring me joy. And that's why I buy them. And if I bought another one, it would be to stock or to, you know, one to rock, one to stock type of deal. I want one mint and I want one that I can tinker around with. So fantastic work. What do you guys think? Was I fair to the review? Was I fair to everybody else? Um, uh, do you guys disagree with my, um, review of, of Destro? And if so, why, uh, let me know, will you guys be getting it as well? You know, because of this review, I, I am completely in love with this, with this sculpture, with this character, with the work that Mezco did just now. It's fantastic. So again, leave me a comment below, disagree, agree, and don't forget to like, and subscribe. And as always, as long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep rolling them out.